All right, so today we're gonna go to Santa Monica through the train station and then probably bike back. This is the first time we're gonna take such a long ride and with our bike train station. Well, I did that with the Long Beach, but we'll see. trains on this side normally come and then oh my gosh like why is the universe always against me the doors are closing please stand clear the doors are closing please. oh yeah it's cover city Oh yeah, I guess there is an event in Culver City. Please stand clear. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. The doors are closing. Yeah, it's Culver City. I don't know what's going on in Culver City. Should I uh, come back here? Please stand clear. My destination is Santa Monica. I will look up what's going on in Culver City. Your safety is our top priority. Please remember to keep valuables and money out of sight. Oh, that's nice. Report Ooh, any I think it's... The yeah, it's sick of you. It's sick of you. How close is it to the beach from here? <laughs> Follow these people, where to get out. It's definitely colder than I expected. Uh, who would have thought that right now the weather in Santa Monica would be like this? Of all the days that I could be here, I choose the day that it's gonna rain. Looks like there's a two-way for bikers. Interesting. I like this. Wait, I'm in no rush. I could like peek over at the pier. Oh, there's no way to get... Oh, it's okay. I will find a way. Dude, it's, it's, it's so cold. I don't think it's a good idea to be out here. But I want to find the California Incline, which is probably here. Yeah, we found it. The California Incline. Hey, look at this beach view. Unfortunately, it's not a sunny day in California today. But this is what you get. I want to touch sand. Let's test the brakes. This is not a hydraulic brake bike. And I know that upcoming from this, that there's a brick wall that I'm gonna hit. Ahead, okay, let's slow down. It's been a while since I touched sand. I'm touching sand today. Oh, uh, this bike is too heavy. But wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta touch sand with my hands. Ah, touching sand. It's been a while. Because in college, I live practically on the beach. Haven't done that in a while. Oh, the sand is warm. 
Oh, there are some dogs. Not a skate. So we went from the pier all the way there. I will put that other video up right now. All right. Ooh, this beach feel. Okay, now this. This is reminding me of Santa Barbara. Yep, look at it. If you just look around, the people here are less overweight, less obese. Because when you're near a beach, right, you, <laughs> it's typically uh, common to care about your looks. Because that's the same way when I was in Santa Barbara. I saw that in Long Beach as well. How am I biking faster than these beach cruisers over here? I have like no motor on, no pedal assist, and I'm lugging 100 pounds. You got to be really trying to not bike fast to bike this slow. Wonder what it costs to live around here, huh? Oh. What's this tunnel over there? Do we go on? Can we go under that tunnel? I do want to go up to the pier. Just check it out. We have time now, so we should be able to adventure a little bit more. So comparing Long Beach and Santa Monica, I think I like Santa Monica better. My friend pointed out that Santa Monica Beach was not good. So me living on a beach for five years, I could tell what beaches are good, and I think this is fine. It's not as bad as my friend uh, made it out to be. Seems like Santa Monica has a lot more beach than Long Beach. At least from my experience, although I granted my trip was cut short in Long Beach. Right now, I'm like biking a very long path and then I still have to check out that pier. Jeez, I wonder how long this bike path stretches for. It seems like it can go wrap around all over there. Like this is literally biking on the coast. Literally biking along the coast. Imagine if they made a bike path ranging from Santa Monica all the way up to San Francisco. Just like through this coast over here. It's possible, right? All right, here we are at the Santa Monica Pier. We're going to go up closer over there, but just to have a little bit of a uh, kind of look around to see what we're at. Beautiful place. Whoops. Beautiful place. <laughs> Smells like uh, fish, seafood. <laughs> One's right there. I have a little carnival here. I wonder if this is like a year-round thing. Ride tickets. You know, I think the most scariest part of a roller coaster is if it doesn't work, if it malfunctions. I don't mind if it's all good and, you know, it doesn't break or anything, but the chances of it breaking and the amount of stories I hear about roller coaster accidents is quite alarming. That's the scary part. You know, guys, when I become famous on YouTube, I'll be notorious for having uh, the armor on while walking around. People will, like, know who I am. They'll see me. And they'll know, like, I stand out. If I'm not wearing this suit or armor, that means someone was driving me to places. If I'm wearing the suit and armor, it means I use the electric vehicle, a personal lies electric vehicle, not a car or anything, like a bike, or skateboard, to get here. Take a look at the vastness of the beach over here. How are you going to say that this area isn't good? 
the colorfulness of the colorness, the color of the carnival. This shouts out kids only. Holy shoot. That's quite a amount of people right now. So I just went through the back. Now I'm on the main street <laughs> of the pier. Probably not a great idea to It is a little hot. I'm cooking up in here. So, can you count the amount of people wearing masks? Nobody. How time has changed. It says people don't even care anymore. I feel like these places that I visit on an e-bike I should really like try out the restaurants around the places I visit, but again, I don't even know where to put my e-bike at that point. So, most likely if I were to ever try out these places for food and stuff like that, I would have to come here with someone to uh, eat with me, and they have to drive. Definitely getting a workout. <laughs> this is a very steep hill, and uh, the weight of the bike is actually... Uh, I can feel it. Yet, I'm walking faster than most of these people. Embarrassing. I have not gone through that. Okay, I just went through the incline. Let's see where this path takes us. I want to be able to run this. Look at that, people playing sports. Like, everybody in Santa Monica is probably the healthiest amount of people you'll see. It ain't no McDonald's. Everybody here really cares about their health. What the hell is this? I don't know what that is. It looks like a graveyard. Plants? They're growing plants here? On the sand? How's that even possible? Not even gonna be afraid of range anxiety today. I have a full charge. I know how to get back. On my bike. I wonder if this is the bike path to that 26 mile. Slow down. My bike can't handle sand, no traction. Bikers are so plentiful here. We don't need to wave at each other. This isn't like what you find at uh, Los Angeles River, where if you see a road biker, you'll see them wave at you. If they made a bike path from here to Santa Barbara, I would love to just bike it. There's the waves, it's been a while waves. Been five. I spent five years on college campus. Now, some of you might question yeah, sure. why five years at my college. Some of you may think that I'm dumb. Some of you may think that you know I just party too much in college, so my grades weren't good, so I have to stay an extra year. But no, all of that not the case. Well, maybe me being dumb, but that's beside the fact that it was someone who screwed me over. He, so basically someone asked me for my lab notes or my lab homework, right? And basically he copied word for word for one of the answers and then turned it in. And the, the, the professor caught us and he failed me in that lab and that lab that you have to take to graduate with a biochem degree is only offered once a year. So if you fail that quarter, you have to spend an entire year or you have to wait until an entire year to retake that class before you can graduate. So yeah, that's basically what happened to me. But remember, everything that has been bad for you pretty much 
better things comes out of it. If I didn't stay that extra year, I wouldn't have met all the people that I have met today. Now I guess I have to go to the other ends of the earth. This is it. Whoa, look at that. We got some bikers. They are gonna take up a lot of road, huh? I should join him. All right, let's go to the other ends of the earth. Okay. People walking dogs on the bike path. Now it's not acceptable because there is a walk path on the left. Okay, let's go. I better not like skid out on this sand. This is a road bike tire. It's not meant for sand. Oh man, biking this path is more annoying than LA River. Okay, this is the 20 mile or 26 mile bike ride. I just see how the floor is counting down. There's 19 miles left. So let's see where it takes us. Can you carve on a bike? Of course I can. Not here though. Look at this sand. If I carve on a bike, I'll slip with the sand on the road. Look at this. Look at these houses right here. I wonder how much it costs to like live on the beach side like this. It would suck if the water, it's a tsunami here, but that's the Pacific Ocean. It doesn't have tsunamis yet. Biking along the coast. That's what I'm doing. Where's the uh, 26 miles that I was promised? And there's no more bike road. Let's see what's over here. It says walk your bikes and yet you see people on their bikes. I mean, that's, this is about it on Santa Monica, huh? Maybe I should go in, like this is all the beach. That's the offer. I should check out the in uh, neighborhood. Check out the neighborhood before I go head back. A jet ski. Man, human beings invent such incredible inventions, you know, they they are able to develop a lot of creative things to to scale the environment, the nature. Jet skis. Like bicycles, jet skis, cars, and all these innovations, man. It's amazing. I find it hard to believe that all of this happened by chance, you know? It's matter and energy colliding, creating this world. So if it's cloudy in the west coast, this is the west coast, and the wind is blowing towards us, we're gonna have rain soon. Wow, there's like, all of these are just apartment buildings. All the stores are like right on the shore of the beach, along with houses. So I biked that entire beach, pretty underwhelming. The neighborhood seems pretty good. Bike route ends. What? Why would you, what? Why would it end here? Like it leads you and then it ends without you having the chance to do anything. Oh, we're heading back to the beach. Oh, interesting. It's a different side. I haven't been in this area. Where was I in the beginning? I think I was over there. Yeah, I was over there. Wait, but what? That doesn't make any sense. Wasn't the beach facing... Oh, this is not the beach, huh? This is just a pond of water. The beach is on the other side. 
on the coast over there, that's the beach. That's where I was, tell you. Tell you, it's Santa Barbara feeling. You live like somewhere around here and just walk out. And I am very grateful to have been selected there. Been able to live there for five years. That is an interesting looking hotel. That is the future circular buildings. Yeah, but how the inside is probably uh, the length of it is long. Like the inside is not apartments, it's the outside. Because nobody wants to be living in an inner circle, or inside the circle, because you don't get sunlight. All right, looks like we're done for today. I know I said I was going to bike back, but I have to pee really bad. And uh, I know there's a lot of restroom around, but again, I do not want to leave my bike outside unattended when I use the restroom. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take the train back home and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I did enjoy my time a little bit in Santa Monica. I don't know when I'm going to come back here, but uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I am beat. I messed myself up today, man. I am out of energy.